the first page is profound. So, it is a brisk 33 degrees Fahrenheit, and my name's Andrew, and I'm making a video, obviously. Why am I out walking with only a long sleeve shirt on and 33 degrees? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> because it's Wisconsin in November. Happy Veterans Day. Today is 2017, 11, 11, and I thought this would be a really good time to, to start something new. And I just want to talk really briefly today about labels, labels and definitions. I'm thinking about uh, making a video like this for a long time and wasn't really sure where to start. Like, what do you say? Where do you start? Beginnings are challenging. <laughs> um, you know, and then you get ready and uh, your hair ends up looking like this because uh, Sometimes you can't predict that stuff, but that's okay. What I want to do with my channel is really be authentic and of service to you out there on the other side of the screen. And the chill in the air is affecting my brain right now. <laughs> It's 0 0.6 degrees Celsius, but I just thought, you know, there's so much stuff out there that feels fake or overly manufactured and people don't take risks or people don't allow themselves to be vulnerable. And I've been inspired by a lot of people recently, many of which who are on YouTube, to, to do that. I can see how a video is a vehicle to really improve people's lives. But then of course you go, well, who am I, right? Who am I to go, look at me, I have advice. Um, but that's a really disempowering way to look at it. I've been really lucky to have a lot of powerful growth experiences in my life. And that's what I want this channel to be about. You know, I've I traveled around for five and a half months, basically looked at most of the amazing stuff west of the Mississippi River right after college. I did that without a car using Craigslist and couchsurfing.com back then it was .org and just I've been on a lot of adventures I've written a sci-fi trilogy I've done a lot of stuff I've got had the privilege to live at a meditation center when I lived on the Big Island a place that I hope to soon live on again and anyway, I don't want this to get too long, but this is an intro video and I just wanted to say hello and share one quick story. When I lived on the Big Island from 2013 to 2014, about a year and a half, I, uh, I was having trouble with someone who was managing me. Um, this person had some anger issues and I, uh, I uh, made a friend one day when I was riding the bus, although mostly I hitchhiked on Big Island because it's part of the culture there. And my friend said, you know, you're really defining this person's behavior as good or bad. And she made an interesting point. And I just popped into my head this morning. She said, definitions are limitations. Uh, that's really stuck with me. She told me not to define how this person is because that limits reality. Definitions limit reality. Things are often more complex and more nuanced than we really realize. So that's what I want to leave you with today. Definitions are limitations. I thought about starting this video saying, I could say all kinds of things actually. I could say, I'm an author, I'm a web designer, I am a blogger, or I used to be, <laughs> or I am a 
video editor. I could say all these things and they would be true, but they wouldn't really encompass who I am. You know, we're so much larger than the definitions that we put on ourselves. And sometimes we really surprise ourselves. And I really feel like that's easier when you don't cling to definitions. So, it's still 33 degrees. I think it might be getting colder. <laughs> so, I should probably start to head back, but I wanted to do a walk and talk. Kill two birds with one stone. Exercise is important to me. And, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today. And hopefully this video wasn't too weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my fingers are so cold. If this is the last time you hear from me, just wait longer.